all the baddies burning up in the sun. Today we're going to try and catch our horses and put them in the paddock that we made yesterday. Oh, we've gained a pig. We have a pig in our paddock. That sounds funny. So, we've broken in these horses around here. I think pretty much all the horses close to the house have been broken in, including this little chap here. So, I'm not sure whether I can catch him in here or whether I will, in fact, perish whilst, whilst he's up there. He... You need a certain amount of headroom. I'm okay. You need a certain amount of headroom. I think it's three blocks high in order to ride a horse underneath a ledge. If it's less than three blocks high, then you will get squashed and die. So, let's try and jump the fence, shall we? So we'll go really, really fast and we'll put our finger down on the, oh, missed, on the space bar and try and, there we go. It has to be orange in order to clear the fence. There we go, and I'll hop off with my shift key, my left shift key. Um, I thought we had a really pretty grey one. Yes, we do. We'll take the really pretty grey one. We'll pop a saddle on him. Oh, he jumped quite high. Oh, he jumps higher than that one. That was a lot easier. There we go. And then this funny little chap. And I don't think he's going to clear the fence. I think that would just be silly trying. Shall we put it on so that you can see? Come on! Big jump! Ooh! Big jump! Big jump! Bigger! Bigger! Bigger jump! Hey! He made it! <laughs> it looks so silly! There we go. Thank you. So now we've got our horses in our paddock with a pig. We can actually ride pigs with a carrot. Um, if we've got a carrot on a stick, which is actually a carrot on a fishing line, you can actually ride pigs. Um, what we'll do now is we'll make, if we've got enough materials, we'll make some golden carrots. Let's have a look here. I may have to cook some gold, so what I'll do is I'll sign off and I'll come back in a minute once I've got my gold ready. Welcome back. Now we've got our two gold ingots. We'll go over to the, to the table and we'll pop our carrots. Oh, no. We'll pop our ingots in here and we'll get our golden nuggets and then we'll pop our carrots in the centre and what we'll do is we'll put ingots all the way around the outside we want two obviously because we've got two carrots we need one for each parent and so now we've got our two golden carrots <clears throat> now we go back outside and what we want is we want a mule we want to breed the donkey with a horse so that we can have a mule which will be a larger larger than, than a donkey but smaller than a horse but a lot quicker than a donkey and not so silly as a donkey. So um, we'll give a carrot to a horse. Oh, nope. And then we'll give the carrot to the donkey and you see the love hearts coming off the animals and then they make friends and a baby comes along. Hello baby mule. Now all the baby mules are this colour, they're bays. 
Even if you were to breed the donkey with the grey horse, you'd end up with a bay mule. All the mules are bays. They're all the same colour. So there we have it. We've got our horses in our paddock. I made a cauldron and filled it with water so they've got something to drink. I'll show you how we make a cauldron. I'll do that quickly now. And there's our little baby. Hello, baby. Aww. Now we'll have to wait a few days for it to mature. Excuse me, pig. I want to shut the gate. Thank you. And then once he's matured, then we can break him in and we can put some panniers on him and we can go out exploring. Now, the way to make a cauldron is a large bucket. Well, when we make a bucket, we do a V-shape like this with three, three ingots. For a cauldron, we do a U shape and then we get a cauldron um, and then if we take our bucket of water, I'll do this outside, we'll pop it here maybe just to the side of the door and I'll put the cauldron there and then you can fill it with water with a bucket of water like that. And that's how we fill our cauldrons with water. And I use these for, for water troughs for other animals. And there we go. And you can see all our vegetables are growing and our fruit. Our beetroot's nearly ready. It's doing really, really well. And oh, even some of our pumpkins have come up. The more you hang around at the house, the quicker your vegetables will grow. If you were to plant them, then go away for a couple of weeks, when you came back, they wouldn't, they wouldn't have grown. You have to hang around at the house for your vegetables to grow. Right. So there we have it. Our horses are in the field with our donkey and our baby mule. He's hiding somewhere. can't see him. Oh, he's over there in the corner. Look. There he is. Thank you all for watching. Do come back soon. It's been great seeing you. Please do like and subscribe. And I'll see you all back here again soon. Um, and I'm not sure what we're going to do. I think we're going to look at anvils. So that would be good because anvils are really good. You can do lots of things with anvils. I'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye. Take care.